What's going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? And what I have for you today in this video is I want to go ahead and show you guys something. So yesterday I updated both these devices, my iPhone 4 and my iPod Touch for generation to iOS 7.0.3. Now, I didn't know 7.0.3 was supposed to come out yesterday, but apparently this is just for bug fixes. And also this is supposed to fix bugs with the uh, motions with the parallax effect so the parallax effect is involved you know, with this update right here now to the iPhone 4 owners including me this does not apply to you because the uh, iPhone 4 never had uh, the parallax effect so therefore there's no reduced motion uh, that was uh, modified onto the iPhone 4 but for the newer devices you have the parallax effect now as you can see my iPhone 4 right here is on 7.0.3 and same thing with my iPod Touch, iOS 7.0.3, and excuse the dumb right there, I'm just cover covering the model number, because you know, I can't have that exposed. But, for you, those of you guys that don't know what the parallax effect is, the parallax effect is basically where uh, your device, you can move it around uh, to like uh, give it some motion, as you can see uh, right there, it's moving around. So it's pretty much like a live wallpaper effect. Well, here's the thing, because of all uh, these uh, like animations happening with the live, live wallpapers and all that, it's actually get, uh, getting users sick, believe it or not. And I actually made a video on this already, so I figure the reason why Apple put these bug fixes into the parallax effect is just so people won't get sick from using iOS 7 anymore. In fact, some people, I got a comment on that video before saying that they actually traded in their iPhone 5 just for, or the 5S, whatever phone they had, just for uh, an Android phone. I wasn't sure which one it was, I forgot, but someone actually got rid of their iPhone because of the uh, iOS 7 animations. Uh, like, they were getting sick from it, and they can't play sports from what that comment told me, uh, which I felt bad for. But one thing I want to, uh, I noticed is that when you're on iOS 7.0.3, so you know the animations where uh, you can uh, like just uh, open up an application and then it zooms in, zooms out as you can see, and plus you get like this uh, live wallpaper effect. Now the iPhone 4, nothing has changed like I said. So on the iPod Touch, if you go into settings general and you go to accessibility, you have an option called reduce motion and that actually reduces uh, the motion so that way, like, your device won't move around with the wallpaper. But here's one thing that I want you guys to notice. So pay attention to this. I'm going to click on the home button and s look at how uh, the settings app exits out to the springboard. You see that? So there is no zooming in effect. It's basically more, I don't know how to say it. It's basically more like a flashback. I'm going to go into settings, as you can see. So it's pretty much going into a flashback, whereas uh, over here, you were to have this option, uh, like not enabled, you, know, you would just get the normal zooming in, zooming out effects, uh, in addition with the parallax effect. But as you can see, I don't have the parallax effect right now. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys in this video today. So there is actually a difference when you're using iOS 7.0.3 uh, on your devices, the newer devices with the parallax effect. So th that's just something that I noticed and I thought I'd share with you guys. Now, did Apple have to do that? Me personally, they didn't have to do that. Because here's the thing, we dealt with this kind of animation before, uh, before iOS 7, but I, I guess the way it is in iOS 7, for instance, settings is all the way here, and then it just like, it starts the animation all the way down here. Whereas uh, usually in iOS 6, uh, you would just, um, open up an application and then like it pretty much changed the animations f throughout the whole screen and you guys understand what I'm saying that, that probably didn't make sense I'm sorry there's no uh, better way to explain it <laughs> but yeah that's basically all I wanted to show you guys in this video so, so Apple did do something so that way their customers won't be getting sick and, and ill anymore has it solved the problem I don't know because there are still some iPhone 4 users and I'm not sure if they're getting sick from using iOS 7 on the iPhone 4 as well me so far, nothing happened. Uh, my health uh, issues uh, don't have anything to do uh, with these zooming in and out effects. Like so far, these effects haven't affected me yet in terms of my health concern. So 
uh, I'm fine with the way things are in iOS 7. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody. The iPad Air is 7.5 millimeters thin, which is actually 20% thinner than the previous generation, the 4.5.